Spooky 2, User's Guide, March 1, 2015, by David Book, Table of Contents, Before We Begin, 1, Important Advice, 2, System Requirements, 2, What You Get, 3, What's New, 4, The Spooky 2 Rife System, 5, Making Connections, Point 7, Spooky Remote, Point 1 0, Spooky Tube Electrodes, 11, Standard Electrodes, 13, Plasma Units, 13, Installing the Software, 14, Installing a Beaker EXE, 40, Installing a Database, 43, Windows Warnings, 45, Testing and Configuration, 46, Spooky Boost and Remote MNBN, 46, Original Remote and Direct Connect, 48, Treatment Choices, Point four nine. Click on chapter title to go there, click on back to contents at the bottom of each page to return here. Remote Mode 54, Contact Mode 55, Plasma Mode 56, OK, Let's Rife 57, JW, Killing 75, JW, Healing 76, DH, Killing Healing 77, Spooky Spectrum Sweep 78, Spooky Converge Sweep, 79, Module and Slime Mold Sweep, 80, Remote and Contact Modes, 81, Spooky Boost and Dual Remotes, 86, Foot Plates and Tens Pads, 91, Inverse Plus Sync, 95, The Spooky 2 Interface, 107, Menu Bar, 108, File Menu, 109, Create Frequency Set, 111, Create Spectrum Sweep, 116, click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents. At the bottom of each page to return here, Database Menu, 118, Edit in Notepad, 119, Global Menu, 123, Online Menu, 124, Utils Menu, 126, Advanced Menu, 128, Help Menu. 131, Conditions and Database, 132, Program Options Pane, 134, Channels and User Data, 142, Status Bar, 144, Channel Control Panel, 145, Biofeedback Scanning, 151, Wobbles and Feathering, 158, Waveform and Frequency, 163, Waveform and Offset, 168, Duty Cycle, 170, Understanding Spooky Remote, 172, Remote and Frequency, 173, Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here, Remote and Amplitude, 175, Remote and Waveform, 175, Understanding Spectrum, 178, Two Formulas, 183, Multi-talented Spooky 2, 184, Colloidal Silver, 184, Clark Zappa, 187, Pests and Molds, 188, How the Universe Works, 190 Speed, Space and Time, 194, How Rife Works, 195, Appendix A, Terrain, 198, Appendix B, Spectrum Story, 200, Appendix E, Making Waves, 210, Appendix D, Serial Numbers, 217, Thanks and Acknowledgements, 218, Precautions for Users, 219, Legal Notice and Disclaimer, 220, Spooky 2 Software License, 221, Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here. Before we begin. Welcome to the new Spooky2 User's Guide. This replaces both the 101 User's Guide and the manual, and takes the reader from setting up and testing a new Spooky2 rig correctly to loading and running programs in beginner and expert modes. We also examine Spooky2's interface, explain the controls in plain language, and show how they can be used for maximum benefit. The guide has also been completely restructured. Practice now comes first, so that you can put Spooky 2 to use straight away. Then we dive deeper into the controls and underpinnings of the system. Next, we show you how Rife and Spooky 2 actually work, 
getting to grips with this is essential for effective program design. We also deal with other ways you can use Spooky2 for health and home. Finally, we look at the big picture, the mind-blowing quantum laws that underlie our physical universe, how they dictate our lives and health, and how they relate to Spooky2. However, the most important change of all must come from you, the Spooky2 user. Despite the personal time and effort that went into creating the first edition of this guide, and the Spooky2 manual, I found that many people didn't read them, and asked a question in the Spooky2 forum instead. In some cases, this is due to illness, but in too many, let's be honest here, it's laziness. Answering such questions is a huge drain on Spooky Team resources. So, since this guide is now encyclopedic in scope, we expect you to play your part, and read it. In future, forum questions already fully answered by this guide will not receive a team response unless we're aware of extenuating circumstances. Knowledge is power, but gaining it takes time and effort, yours. Unusually, my name appears on the front cover because I alone am responsible for all its contents, and the opinions and experiences recorded here in a mine alone, expressed on my own behalf and not that of any other member of the Spooky team, although it's all been checked by John White for technical accuracy. So far, what I laughingly call government still allows me the basic human right of free speech. Now take control. And I salute you all with Goen Eri and Both Harleet. Irish Gaelic meaning may your road rise with you. David Book, December 2014, Back to Contents, 1, Important Advice, 4 Hours Don't Touch the Generator Controls Unless You Know What You're Doing or You're Being Guided by Tech Support. The Spooky2 Rife system is designed to be totally controlled by the software. 4 Hours Drink Pure Water, Lots of It. Ideally, you should drink from 6 to 8 pints daily, half of it before noon. This dose do very important things, it flushes toxins and dead organisms out of your body quicker, and it improves your electrical conductivity. HD don't keep your spooky to rig in your bedroom or general living area, the magnetic spooky remotes are so powerful that they sing, when they're running frequencies in the human audio range. And it will eventually drive you crazy. If you can't put it into an unused room or space, line a cardboard box with foam or polystyrene and upend it over the remote. S. H. I. The Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep are intended for use only in the absence of a reliable diagnosis, not as a general panacea. Both these sweeps will kill all bacteria, pathogenic and beneficial. Prolonged continuous use may damage the immune system unless you supplement with natural probiotics using fermented foods such as sauerkraut, kefir, dairy and or water, kimchi, pickles, and the like. In no case other than an emergency should either of these sweeps be used continuously for more than four to five days. System Requirements, PC, Spooky2 was originally designed for use with Windows XP, but it also runs perfectly on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. USB 2.0 or greater is required for frequency generator connectivity. Mac Linux, regretfully, there are no native Mac or Linux versions. We recommend you pick up a pre-owned Windows PC and dedicate it to Spooky2. These can usually be bought for a very modest price. Since many of you will wish to try experiments with long run times, this may be a good idea anyway. Alternatively, you can use Boot Camp to create a Windows partition, or purchase virtualization software. You can download our helpful Spooky2 in Linux or Mac PDF guide here under useful documents. Back to contents, 2, what you get, Spooky2 5M generator built from high quality components and optimized for Spooky2. Unique wave cycle multiplication enables frequencies up to 25 MHz. Two damped waveforms, square and sinusoidal, with configurable decay oscillations. Brand new H-bomb waveform, both square and sinusoidal, plus BXBY, cancer, square harmonic, and Lily spectral processing can transmit up to 1024 frequencies simultaneously with uniform amplitude. High voltage multiple spike injection into all waveforms to increase effectiveness. Enhanced signal gate control. Software amplitude, offset, and phase angle control. 
auto calibration, no adjustment necessary. Dual configurable amplitude and frequency wobble systems. Selectable wobble functions. Configurable automatic frequency transposition up or down. Direct entry of light wavelength in the database. Randomized gate. Global controls for multi generator rigs. Global pause scheduling. Windows 32 and 64 bit support with auto detection for driver installation. Internet controls to update the database online. Database editor. Improved multiple subject handling. Auto resizing supports all screen sizes. Biofeedback. Spooky Pulse Accessory, to detect MORs and yes-no body responses. Program Preset Save and Restore, including Frequency Set, S, Waveform, S, and all settings. Download Spooky2 here. Visit the Spooky2 website to see full-size versions of main screen graphics contained in this manual. Back to Contents, 3, What's New, Here's What's New in Spooky2 0103-2015. March 1, 2015, new, under X Hertz control added to frequency limits. This allows the user to specify the lowest frequency that Spooky2 will transmit, as well as the highest. When a value is entered, Spooky2 will calculate and transmit the best octal or scalar subharmonic that lies above or beneath each threshold. 4, new, Spooky Plasma preset added to program name menu. Improved. Some program name presets reworked. Pound added, code to prevent file read errors if a set is selected while the screen is still updating. 4. Fixed, minor bug fixes code optimizing. March 1, 2015, back to contents, 4. The Spooky2 Rife system, here are the components that make up a basic Spooky2 Rife system. All of these, and much more, are available only from here. Spooky2-5M Generator, while the Spooky2 software is the brain that controls the system, this generator provides the muscle. It comes with power supply connector cable, USB cable, and a BNC to alligator clips cable which is used to connect a pair of Spooky tubes. Spooky tube electrodes, used for contact treatment. They are connected using the BNC to alligator clips cable that comes with your generator. An extended cable is also available. For hands-free contact sessions, you can use TENS pads and a TENS cable instead, also available from the website linked above. Spooky Remote VL1, MN and BN, used for remote treatment. The Magnetic North version, black pad, is best for killing pathogens, but is not generally recommended for long-term use. The Biomagnetic North version, white pad, is best for healing and regeneration. Both models come with a short BNC connector cable. Spooky Boost, this clever signal mixing cable can quadruple the power of contact mode, and double the power of remote. How it's connected to the generator depends on which model Spooky Remote you use. The connectors are color-coded for ease of use. This cable is essential for some of Spooky 2's most powerful features. Back to contents, 5. Warning. To use the Spooky2 Rife system safely, UMUST, always connect your Spooky2 XM frequency generator to an electrical outlet before attempting to use it. Don't use USB only. Hound C never unplug it while in use, always stop and switch it off first. Ensure that plug socket adapters cannot be accidentally kicked or nudged by cleaning vacuuming, small children, or curious pets, causing momentary disconnection. Failure to observe these precautions at all times may result in damage, to your generator and to avoid your warranty. Back to contents, 6, making connections, let's get your generator, S, hooked up first. Connecting a Spooky 2-5M, the first essential is power. With the 5M generators, power means electricity from your home's main electricity supply, not from the PC's USB port. While a 5M generator's display will light up when you connect it via USB alone, it's designed to be driven by a normal 120-220 volt wall power supply, otherwise it won't work correctly, and is highly likely to sustain damage. So connect the small connector on one end of the power cord to the socket on the left side of the generator and make sure it's pushed all the way home. 
then connect the wall wart transformer plug on the other end of the cord to a wall power socket, along with any adapter you may need for your particular country's socket design. If you're connecting multiple 5 milliseconds, you'll need to go to a hardware store and buy one or more surge-proof socket strip extensions that can plug into a single wall socket and provide power for between 4 and 6 devices. Connect each generator to this in turn. As you can see, the unusual orientation of the transformer plug only allows for to be connected per 6 socket UK style strip. Back to contents 7, now take the USB cable that came with the generator and connect the long boxy end to the socket on the left side of the unit. You need to be careful with this connection because both plug and socket are shaped so that they can only be mated if the plug is presented correctly to the socket. You can see this in the image on the left, the specially shaped plug is on the lower right, closest to the camera. Theoretically, it shouldn't be possible to force the plug into the socket the wrong way round, but we've come across cases where it's happened. And the result is always a burned out data chip in the generator. So care is advised. Connect the other end of the USB cable to your PC, or to a USB hub if you need to, connect multiple generators. The one shown on the right is a 4 port non-powered hub, and you can use it to connect up to 4 generators to a single PC USB socket, this looks decent. These hubs can also be daisy chained, which means you can use one of the sockets on the first hub to connect a second hub to it, giving you seven USB sockets connected to a single socket on the PC. You can also buy seven port hubs, even more efficient. I've successfully daisy-chained five four-port hubs from two PC USB sockets, allowing me to connect 10 5M and 6 UDB generators to my netbook, and still have one socket left over to connect a USB stick. However, because these hubs are non-powered, the UDBs on the end of the daisy chain don't receive enough power from the PC to display the frequencies clearly enough on their front panels to be legible, but they work perfectly. Back to contents, port USB 2.0 mini hub, 8, substituting a power 28 port USB hub like this one solves that problem, with more than enough sockets still available to connect an external hard drive and a camera and to extend my spooky two rigs substantially should I need to. 1 1, I, J, 4, I, L. By the way, although it looks like this unit has just 12 sockets, there are actually another 16, 8 along each side that you can't see in this overhead shot. And every socket has its own individual power switch and LED status indicator. Connecting a UDB 1108S, this older generator is USB powered, so the only connection required is to your PC hub with the supplied USB cable, no mains. Now we have our generator, S, connected, so we'll move on to the Spooky 2 accessories. And we'll start with the Spooky remote. Back to contents, 9, Spooky remote. There are a number of different ways you can connect a Spooky remote to the generator, and we'll go through them here. The first is by using a Spooky boost and its connection to the generator depends on which model remote you're using. Make sure your BNC connections are secure by turning the milled wheel on each plug clockwise to lock it in place. A. Spooky Remote VLLMN with Spooky Boost The two male BNC connectors on your Spooky Boost are color-coded, one is red, and the other is blue. If you look at the generator's two outs, you'll see that out 1 and out 2 are also color-coded, out 1 is red, and out 2 is blue. If you have a spooky remote V1.1MN, connect the red plug of the cable to out 1, and the blue plug to out 2, this connection is red to red, and blue to blue. B. Spooky remote VLLBN with spooky boost. If you have a spooky remote VLLBN model, please do the reverse, connect the spooky boost's red plug to out 2, and the blue plug to out 1. This is red to blue, and blue to red. If your Spooky Boost is one of the original models without color-coded male BNC connectors, simply plug the two connectors into OUT1 and OUT2 and we'll do the necessary detective work to sort things out later in this process. Back to contents 10, now you can simply connect your Spooky remote to the female output socket of the Spooky Boost by using the short cable that came with your remote. Note that you can also connect a set of handheld electrodes to your Spooky Boost. C. Spooky Remote VLLMN or BN Direct Connect, 
If you don't have a Spooky Boost, you can connect your Spooky remote directly to out one of a 5M generator using the remote cable. Since the UDB1108S generator has just a single out, you can't use a Spooky Boost to connect a remote to it anyway. The image at left shows a UDB1108S with a Spooky remote attached. Above is a different way to do it devised by Spooky24 member John M. Kane. This dispenses with the remote cable and uses a simple BNC male-to-male -male connector, also called a coupler. Essentially, it's two BNC plugs end-to-end -end with a straight-through connection. These also work fine for the UDB1108S. Like all great ideas, it simplifies and makes things easier, it's tidier, and it's also inexpensive. You can buy them here. Another really cool thing about these connectors is that if you ever need to use two spooky remotes with one 5M generator, you can attach two as shown above, useful if you need to treat large numbers of subjects for the same condition. Back to contents, 11, spooky tube electrodes, there are two different ways to connect spooky tubes depending on whether you use spooky boost or not, and they're both very simple. First, connection via spooky boost, A. Spooky tubes with Spooky Boost, if you've already configured your Spooky Boost connections to the generator for use with Spooky Remote, you're golden. If not, please follow the directions in the previous section. Then connect the BNC to alligator clips cable that came with your generator to the output of Spooky Boost. B. Spooky tubes direct connect, connect the BNC to alligator clips cable that came with your generator to out one of the generator. Then. In both cases A and B above, insert the alligator clips into the holes located at the plastic end of each spooky tube as shown below left. The image below right shows the correct orientation for your spooky tubes. Back to contents, 12, standard electrodes, many spooky to users already own electrodes that came with conventional rife machines or zappers which they may wish to use. I'm one, and here's how I do it. Left. Two copper electrodes are attached via cheap standard banana cables to a BNC to dual banana adapter, right, available here. The adapter can then be connected to a spooky boost, or to out one of the generator. In all cases when using contact mode, we recommend using spooky boost for deeper body and cell penetration. Plasma units, if you purchased a plasma amplifier and tube from Ralph Hartwell, you will already have received instructions from him for using it with Spooky2, so I won't repeat them here. If you're connecting a different plasma setup, it's extremely likely that you know exactly what you're doing, because you should if you're attempting this, so I'll wish you luck and leave you to it. Back to contents, 13, installing the software, first, make sure that your rig is properly connected to the PC and turned on. Then double click the installer. This will have a file name ending in setup X. The following series of screens are presented, each of which you must respond to after this one. Note, if you've installed Spooky2 before this, you should leave it in place and choose to overwrite it. This will not affect your own files, and the installation will be easier, more efficient, and foolproof. Language selection, select installation language, Afrikaans, Albanian, Chinese, simplified, Danish, DUTCHF Standard, RNRWM, ITIM French German Indonesian Italian Norwegian Spanish Swedish. Next, you'll see this, Language, Selection, Dialog. Choose your installer language from the list, then click OK. Here, the installer is unpacking its files. If you've previously installed Spooky2, you'll see this screen next. Choose Yes to move to the Install Start screen. If this is your first Spooky2 installation, you'll see the Install Start screen on the next page instead. Back to Contents, 14, Welcome, MEM, Welcome to Spooky2 Setup Program. This program will install Spooky2 on your computer. It is strongly recommended that you exit Windows programs before running this setup program. Click Cancel to quit setup and then dose any program you have running. Click Next to continue with the setup program. Next, Cancel, the installer program starts. Click Next, Back to Contents, 15, License Agreement, License Agreement, please read the following license agreement carefully. 
press the page down key to see the rest of the agreement. Cancer Clinic NZ Limited, hereafter referred to as CCNZ, and its directors or shareholders are not responsible for any damage or injuries of any sort or form that may be sustained by any person or persons, any animal, or to any equipment or any other thing or things. The equipment, devices and methods used by CCNZ have not been inspected or approved by any governmental or medical agency or inspection service. No medical claims are made for, nor implied by CCNZ. You are advised to always consult with your physician or other healthcare professional at any time should you have or think you might have a health problem. Please check with your physician or other healthcare professional before starting any diet, exercise, tachina over the counter, OTC, yes minus one accept the terms of the license agreement. ONO minus one do not accept the terms of the license agreement. The license agreement. Choose yes. I accept the terms of the license agreement. Then click next, back, cancel, back to contents, 16, choose destination location, backslash m and backslash, choose destination location, setup will install Spooky2 in the following directory. To install to this directory, tick next. To install to a different directory, tick browse and select another directory. Destination directory, browse. C, backslash spooky2, space required on drive, 23.4 megabytes, space available on drive, 255,096.7 megabytes, back, next, cancel, destination location, accept the default or click browse to select another. Then click next, back to contents, 17, set program shortcuts, set program shortcuts. Setup will add shortcut to the Start Program menu. Start Program menu Spooky2, back, next, cancel, the installer adds a shortcut to your Windows Start menu. Click next, back to contents, 18, confirm setup, confirm setup settings, setup has enough information to start copying the program files. If you want to review or change any settings, tick back. Target Directory, C backslash Spooky2, Start Program Menu Entry, Spooky2, the Spooky2 directory is created and the installer asks you to confirm your settings. Click Next to begin copying files. Back, Next, Cancel, Click Next, Back to Contents, 19, File, Silabamses, Folder, C, Spooky2 backslash CP210XVCP Windows backslash X64, VDAR JV Cancel, Spooky2's files are copied to your hard drive. When done, the following screen appears, back to contents, 20, your Spooky2 software has been installed. Click Finish. You will be asked if you wish to restart your PC now or later. Choose to restart later, then click Next, back to contents, 21. CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver Installer, Welcome to the CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver Installer, this wizard will help you install the drivers for your CP21 and USB to UART Bridge device. To continue, click Next. Next, Cancel, the driver installer for the Spooky2-5M generator launches. Click Next, Back to Contents, 22. CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver Installer, License Agreement, Oh I accept this agreement, I don't accept this agreement, to continue, accept the following license agreement. To read the entire agreement, use the scroll bar or press the page down key. License Agreement Silicon Labs VCP Driver, Important, read carefully before agreeing to terms. This product contains the Silicon Labs VCP driver and installer programs and other third-party software together these products are referred to as the licensed software. Use of the licensed software is subject to the terms of this license, save as print, back next cancel, the license agreement, select I accept this agreement. Then click next, back to contents, 23, CP210X USB to UART bridge driver installer. Completing the installation of the CP210X USB to UART bridge driver, the drivers were successfully installed on this computer. 
you can now connect your device to this computer. If your device came with instructions, please read them first. Driver name status, V slash Silicon Laboratory Asylum. Reader to use, finish, cancel, the driver installation completes. Click finish. Back to contents, 24, PL2303 driver installer program, 4. Welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for PL2303 USB to Serial. The Install Shield Wizard will install PL2303 USB to Serial on your computer. To continue, click Next. Back, Next, Cancel. Now the UDB1108S driver installer opens. If you don't own a UDB1108S, you may safely choose Cancel to exit the installer. You can now restart your PC from the Windows Start menu. If you do own a UDB1108S, click Next, Back to Contents, 25, PL2303 Driver Installer Program, Setup Status Place 2303 USB to Serial is configuring your new software installation. M, Cancel, the installer configures your installation. When done, the following screen appears, back to contents, 26, PL2303 driver installer program, a, install shield wizard complete, the install shield wizard has successfully installed PL2303 USB to serial. Click finish to exit the wizard. Back finish, cancel, click finish. Spooky2 has now been installed, and you should now restart your PC from the Windows Start menu. After reboot, Launch Spooky2 by selecting it in the Windows Start menu, there may also be a desktop shortcut. Spooky2 will alert you that it's found a generator and ask if you wish to search for more. Click the appropriate response. The following window appears, back to contents, 27, Spooky2 March 1, 2015, C, John White, La UBWL, File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu Help, J. Search, clear, February 28, 2015 1737 and 30 seconds database, abdominal cramps XTRA, abdominal inflammation CAFL, abdominal pain CAFL, abdominal pain XTRA, abscess no cardia asteroid XTRA abscesses 2 XTRA, abscesses 3 XTRA, abscesses secondary CAFL, program options, Frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier, amplitude wobble, frequency wobble, p reduce amplitude 10 kHz, 1 inch 33 Hz gate. P randomized p skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies p override pause schedule prevent global start, 72, 95,190,304, 2720, 2489, 2170, 1865, 1800, 1600, 1550 808 308 302 euros, 146,125, 95, 72, 20, 1 1.2 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.425.0.444.
one phase angle 00, zero disabled a 0% 16 steps, disabled three 0% 16 steps, frequency limits, hertz apply, octal C scalar, FTPIY, frequencies directly D, do not sort frequencies D, out 2 control out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 P copy gate, 1, plus 0, 1, volts, stop when out 1 stop spike, spectrum, X length ratio percent, 1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020, 1020-1020
I1 PL2303 driver install of late.0 release note, IPL2303 check chip version readme, PL2303 P Rui V C D Ribbon Star 1 VL80, ZC more results, back to contents, click on the Windows Start menu. At the bottom left comma of your screen. Click into the search box and type, device, you'll get a list of results. The one you need is device manager, highlighted in the screenshot on the left. Click on it to open device manager. The window shown in the next screenshot will open. 30. Back to contents, find and click on ports, highlighted in the screenshot. The navigation tree will expand to show all device drivers and the ports which they're controlling. The Silicon Labs CAM 210X USB to UART bridge entries are all instances of the 5M drivers with the USB port numbers they control in parentheses. The prolific USB to serial CAM port entries are all instances of the UDB1108S drivers, also with the USB port numbers they control. If you see yellow exclamation marks on any of these entries, it means that the drivers weren't installed correctly, and you will have to reinstall them. But you don't have to go through the entire installation procedure all over again, you can simply reinstall the drivers you require. There's another way to do this manually, and it's pretty simple. 31, but first, an explanation, there are two kinds of accounts on Windows, administrator and user. If you log in using an account with admin rights and permissions, you can pretty much do anything you like on the PC. However, it's not a good idea to go online using an admin account because hackers can put this power to use if they get past your firewall. The answer is a user account. This has less power to change anything, so it's safer for online use. However, it can cause problems with certain kinds of software installations. Thankfully, there's a way around this without having to log out and back in as administrator. First, quit Spooky2. Then click on the Windows Start menu and choose Computer. The Start menu will disappear and a new window will open. Search Computer, Organize, Properties System Properties Uninstall or Change a Program Map Network Drive. 5. K Favorites Desktop Pound Downloads Recent Places, Libraries J Documents Music B Pictures FJJ Videos, Homie Group L Computer Razor, Company Wintrans, Duel, Microsoft Office CLI, Hard Disk Drives, 2, Aza, Company, 248GB free of 284GB, Microsoft Office Click to Run 2010, Protected, QO, Devices with Removable Storage, 1, Wintrans, Do, ML, 7.08GB free of 7.46GB, Percent Network, Aza, C, Space Used, HL local disk space free, 248GB, J total size, 284GB file system. NTFS, the highlighted icon at the top left is your hard drive. Wintrans is my USB stick. Double click the hard drive icon. Back to contents, 32, the window now displays a list of all the folders on your hard drive. The Spooky2 folder is highlighted left. Double click it. Note, the Spooky2 Documents folder is not part of the Spooky2 installation it's my own collection of personal documents related to using the system. Back to contents, 33, copyright, KJI. Computer? Aza, C. Spooky2? F backslash backslash search Spooky2, favorites, include in library, name, share with, new folder, Date modified, type CAM 210X PCP Windows date modified, October 11, 2014 1603 file folder, size, H desktop CP 210X PCP WND hours October 11, 2014 1603 file folder, 4 downloads I, data November 14, 2014 1532 file folder, 6 recent places languages September 27, 2014 1710 file folder, PL 2303P RU 1 if I C D R. I V E R L N star 11 er VL 80 October 11, 2014 1603 file folder, libraries I, scan data January 3, 2014 01 19 file folder, 
H Documents uses August 8, 2014 2043 file folder, Music Waveforms October 11, 2014 1603 file folder, BL Pictures T Japney October 28, 2014 1321 DAT file 1 KB. B video ZAM Compact TLB September 11, 2013 1036 TLB file 17 KB. JFB JL Resize OCX April 13, 2005 -0508 Active X Control. 325 KB. For Homie Group Com DLG 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 15 22 Active X Control 153 KB. 0 CSV ED July 24, 2012 0736 Application 1253 KB. Computer JJJ Expeditor May 21, 2012 1422 Compiled HTMI 497 KB. And Asa Company ISJ Custom October 30, 2014 1640 Microsoft Excel C7 KB. Wintrans do email footer December 5, 2013 2258 text document 1 kilobyte TI Microsoft Office CLI IQ email header May 13, 2013 2132 text document 1 kilobyte 1 1 English In June 29, 2010 1321 LNG file 11 kilobytes Network IJJ frequencies September 27, 2014 21 CSV file 600 kilobytes. Frequencies October 27, 2014 09.57 Microsoft Excel C 600 kilobytes. WMRC 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 15 22 Active X Control 211 kilobytes. I percent one Sconctal. OCX February 5, 2012 1217 Active X Control 1046 kilobytes MSMAPI 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 1422 Active X Control 148 kilobytes WMSV BVM 60 DLL April 14, 2008 1412 Application extends 1353 kilobytes Notified June 19, 2013 0730 IRFAN View WAV file 480 kilobytes. Jaints Compact TLB September 11, 2013 1036 TLB file 23 kilobytes. JS Scom 32 OCX February 16, 2012 1346 Active X Control 136 kilobytes. Set up October 11, 2014 1604 Text Document 7 kilobytes. Now you can see everything that's contained in the Spooky2 folder. This folder is where you'll have to visit if you wish to manually install a new database, or edit your own custom database in Notepad. The top seven icons are folders, the rest are files, folders always contain files. The first one in the list on the left, CP210XBCP Windows, contains 5M driver installers. The fourth folder from the top PL2302 Prolific Driver Installer VL80, contains the installer for the UDB1108S driver. Since this procedure is identical for installing either driver, we'll do it for the Silicon Labs 5M drivers. So double-click the first folder in the list to open it. Back to Contents, 34, if your PC is a recent 64-bit model, choose the installer whose name ends with X64. If it's an older 32-bit machine, choose the x86 installer. In either case, right-click on the file and choose Run as Administrator from the context menu that pops up. This will temporarily give you the permissions to install software into the deeper levels of the operating system. When the installation finishes, it's best to restart your PC because some flavors of Windows require this to correctly register newly installed components. If, after all this, Spooky2 still can't find your generator, it's possible that your installation is damaged. In this case, it's best to uninstall, then run a fresh copy of the installer again. Here's how, back to contents, 35, click on the Windows Start menu at the lower left of the screen and choose Control Panel as shown below. Spooky, Earfan View MLTM by U9, CV Avost. Free Antivirus Skype, Windows Media Center, Getting started, I, W, Earfan View Thumbnails, A, uh, Sticky Notes, Snipping Tool V All Programs, Search Programs and Flies, J, 
the start menu will disappear and a new window will open. Back to contents, 36, if you haven't been here before, this is probably what you'll see, not terribly informative or useful. So click on the the view by menu at the top right and change it from category to small icons. And this is what you'll see instead, back to contents, 37. IHJ. Control panel. All control panel items. I4FII search control panel, adjust your computer settings, view by, small icons, action center G administrative tools, J auto play, backup and restore click to run application manager CJ color management, IJGJJ credential manager date and time default programs, desktop gadgets device manager S, three devices and printers, BP displays of access center, flash player, 32 bit, P folder options are fonts, JJ getting started, dollar home group indexing options internet options, 5 pounds keyboard, cubic millimeter location and other sensors Y mouse, network and sharing center O notification area icons registered trademark parental controls, H performance information and tools F personalization ELC phone and modem, power options JYU programs and features M, 1 recovery registered trademark region and language remote app and desktop connections smart audio sound dissection speech recognition section sync center system task bar and start menu h troubleshooting user accounts windows anytime upgrade lj windows card space windows defender windows firewall 9 windows live language setting windows mobility center s windows update choose programs and features highlighted in the image above this will open a new window, back to contents, 38, is, all control panel items, programs and features, control panel home, view installed updates, v turn windows features on or off, uninstall or change a program, to uninstall a program, select it from the list and then click uninstall, change, or repair, organize, uninstall change s equals pound zero, name publisher, Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Compact Edition, ENU Microsoft Corporation, 111 feet Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 Redistributable Microsoft Corporation, IT Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Redistributable, x86 9.0.30729.17 Microsoft Corporation, Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Redistributable, x86 9.0.30729.4148 Microsoft Corporation, FL Microsoft Visual C++ 2010. x64 redistributable minus 10.0.30319 Microsoft Corporation, GY My Winlocker Suite GIS Technology Incorporated. Unused Expresso SO by Incorporated. T7PL 2303 USB to Serial Prolific Technology Incorporated, Realt USB 2.0 Card Reader Realt Semiconductor CC, Skip F5.3 Skype Technologies SA, 1, JJ Spooky 2 Cancer Clinic NZ Limited, BFL Synaptics Pointing Device Driver Synaptics Incorporated, 3 Team Viewer 9 Team Viewer, 1, Welcome Center Acer Incorporated, Windows Driver Package, Silicon Laboratories, Silabem, Port. Silicon Laboratories, Windows Live Essentials 2011 Microsoft Corporation, G. Silicon Laboratories Product Version, March 19, 2014 6.7.0.0, here, I've highlighted the 5M Silicon Labs driver. You can also see Spooky2 and the UDB1108S's PL2303 driver package entries further up the list. To uninstall either double click the name, or select, then click uninstall at the top of the list. Back to contents 39, uninstall both driver packages in succession, but don't bother trying to uninstall Spooky2, Windows isn't very effective at removing anything that doesn't have a registry entry. So it's quicker and easier to manually delete it. To do this, simply navigate to the Spooky2 folder as you did before. Windows Start Menu Computer Hard Drive, double click. Then drag the Spooky2 folder to the recycle bin and empty it. Now you can download a fresh copy of the installer and try again. 
To do this new installation, I advise disconnecting from the Internet, logging into an administrator account on your PC, and installing Spooky2 for all users. Then restart the PC and log into your normal user account so you can re-enable Internet access if you wish. Finally, click the Advanced Menu button to open the Advanced Menu, then enter the number of generators you've connected into the DDS Generators field near the top, and Spooky2 will find your entire rig a lot quicker on subsequent launches. Generators missing, if you have four generators connected, but only three red channel buttons, it means that either the driver hasn't installed properly for the particular port your missing generator is connected to, or its USB cable may be faulty. To fix the first, quit Spooky2, disconnect each generator's USB cable from the PC hub, and restart the PC. One by one, reconnect the generators and watch the right side of the taskbar for alerts that tell you whether the driver installed for that port was successful. With luck, they should all be. If not, it's time to try swapping the USB cable for that missing generator so that Windows can identify it and install the correct driver. Installing a Beakler EXE, the latest stable version of Spooky2 can always be found on the Spooky2 website's downloads page. This is the one that most people will wish to use. But John White often provides advanced Beakler versions of the next proposed official release for download on his own site, usually as software-only EXE files. Beta means that they're test versions, and so may contain bugs. And this is the main reason that they're made available, so that experienced users can download and test them, then report any bugs found so they can be fixed for the next official release. Back to Contents 40, the length of time between official stable releases is generally about a month, but three or four beta versions may be released for testing in the same period, and the final bug fix beta then becomes official and is uploaded to the Spooky2 website. Also, if an update contains no changes to Spooky2's support files, an EXE file download will usually also be provided for users with existing installations. Because of the nature of beta software, no technical support can be provided since it's essentially a work in progress. So unless you know your way around Spooky2 and your PC, it may not always be a good idea for you to install a beta, especially if you're dealing with something serious. But if you wish to go ahead anyway, here's how I do it, download the beta, or EXE, to your desktop. The file name will always lack the word setup, and end in X. This means that it's an executable and doesn't need to be decompressed like a zip file or double-clicked like a full setup installer. Click once on the file to select it, then press CTRLC on your keyboard to copy it. Navigate to the Spooky2 folder, Windows Start Menu Computer Hard Drive, double-click. Click anywhere on the list of files, then press CTRLB on your keyboard to paste the beta into the folder. You don't have to worry about the beta replacing your existing installation because its file name is different. However, you will need to make an easy way for yourself to launch the new beta. To do this, you can either create a shortcut, or you can pin the beta to the taskbar or the Windows Start menu. For a shortcut, right-click on the beta file and select Create Shortcut from the context menu that pops up. Then drag the newly created shortcut out of the Spooky2 folder and onto your desktop. You can then close the Spooky2 folder window because double-clicking the shortcut will now launch the new beta version. To pin the new version to the taskbar or the start menu, you also right-click on the beta file, but this time choose either pin to taskbar, or pin to start menu. Clicking on the beta's icon in either of these two locations will then launch your new version. The following screenshot shows all the options, back to contents, 41, backslash Z, backslash, computer, Aza, C, Spooky2, search Spooky2, organize, slash F favorites K desktop 4 downloads, recent places, libraries I documents music R pictures 3 videos, Hummer group, computer Aza, C, Wintrans, D, I I Microsoft Office CLI, Network, Open, New Folder, Name, PL2303P RUIFICD Ribbon Star 11 RVL80 Scan Data Users JPNEDAT, TJAM Compat, 6, 
a resize at com DLG 32 at CSVED, JF Expeditor S3 Custom, I, email foot, I, email head I1 English in frequency A pound I Marcy 32.0 CX I B James Comptal I I percent LMS MAPI 32. MSV BVM 60 I, NSCOMPAT. L and ISCOM 32, 1 J setup Lee Spooky, open, V run as administrator, troubleshoot compatibility VAR scan Spooky beta 15032014 X pin to task bar pin to start menu, F shredder, restore previous versions, send to, cut, copy, paste, create shortcut, delete, rename, properties, I type size, 18 file folder, 19 file folder, 19 file folder, PDAT file 1 kilobyte, RTLB file 17 kilobytes, R Active X Control 325 kilobytes, R Active X Control 153 kilobytes, R6 application 1253 kilobytes, R Compiled HTML 497 kilobytes, R Microsoft Excel C6 kilobytes, R Text Document 1 kilobyte, 12 Text Document 1 kilobyte, RLNG file 11 kilobytes, R Microsoft Excel C 595 kilobytes, R Active X Control 211 kilobytes, 7 Active X Control 1046 kilobytes, B Active X Control 148 kilobytes, 2 Application Extends, 1353 kilobytes, R TLB file 23 kilobytes, R 6 Active X Control 136 kilobytes. 9 text document 8 kilobytes, 84 text document 146 kilobytes, spooky beta NUJOTM, IJFV5 Rusuavm2, application, spooky2, IGJ spooky2 28022014 setup 17910 Elspo OKY2 28022014 setup E17910 R1STDOLE2TLB. Spooky Beta L5032014 Date Modified March 15, 2014 07-12 Application Size, 1.88 MB June 11, 2013 15 12 January 12, 2013 10 08 January 3, 2014 01 19 April 14, 2008 05 42 EFAN View ICO File Application Text Document TLB File, Date Created March 20, 2014 000, 1928 kilobytes, 64 kilobytes, 558 kilobytes, 8 kilobytes, 17 kilobytes. The context menu pops up when you right-click on the new Spooky2 beta file. The pin to taskbar, 